Shalom to the elect. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, called Eloyim, Lo Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, in the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive, and is always giving double honors to my apostles, there is a great millstone that taught me this truth through the spirit, brother Thump. And there's always peace, love, and salutations to the Sukarni and Wa'achim, the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, by Yahweh Shah in truth, and in sincerity, shalom to the predestined elect. All right, so yeah, I just want to do a quick lesson, you know, Lord willing, edifying, exhorting, and comforting, all right, to you, sincere Achim Wa'arwath, scattered the broad the four corners of the earth, predestined to be saved, okay, from the utter destruction that's going to primarily take place in Babylon, the great spirit of Sodom and Egypt, okay, known to you today as America, home of the slaves, land of the freaks. Okay, and um, you know, pretty much this lesson to be centered around okay, how the spirits, okay, the, the Lord Yahweh is going to turn these spirits up on a higher level, man. These spirits are going to be turned up on a higher level, okay. And and and, 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 and you know, hey, it, it need it must needs be okay because that's the only way that you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are going to uh feel a higher power. You're going to know that a high power is in control and that this is all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father who's only begotten Son. Because you need uh, uh, you need for uh, death and destruction, okay? Two-thirds of our people, man. Why? Because you put off the Lord, okay? And this is a time where, uh, uh, um, in the time of Yahweh Shai, where uh, they said, uh, crucify him and let his blood be upon our children. So what, and, and Yahweh Shai also said, this generation shall not pass. Until these things be fulfilled. So those those Israelites that didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, they're here today. So what do you think is going to happen to you, man? All right, in the book of Isaiah says, the Lord that put, poured upon you the spirit of deep sleep. So the Lord is going to wake your ass up out of that sleep by the way of what? Knowing him after death by pain. Now, real quick, I was just watching this uh, uh, quick clip, okay, of uh, uh, these uh, five jigs, okay, that pretty much ransacked this uh, 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 very expensive, uh, you know, uh, superstore or store or whatever, you know, and uh, pretty much uh, uh, in 40 seconds, Jake ran out with 20,000 20, uh, plus worth of uh, merchandise, man. Okay, jewelry, cologne, etc., man. Clothes, de designer jeans, okay, and so forth and so on. And, and, and I, I was uh, meditating in the spirit, like, man, you know, if Jake doing that for clothes, how much more when there's a, a lack of bread, or there's a lack of food? Okay, so this is 2nd Ezra 15. Okay, this is the book of 2nd Ezra 15, the pocket for, for those that don't know. All right, second Ezra is 15 and 19. Matter of fact, let me see if I can start off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start up to verse um, verse 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, con. so the word woe, uh, woe meaning what? Death and destruction. Okay, and this is a, a ancient prophet, man. Okay, and the first thing that came out of his mouth in this verse 14 was woe. Okay, meaning what? Death and destruction. Alas, Okay. It says, uh, to the world, yeah, uh, you people out here, man, the scriptures say, uh, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Okay, therefore, the hurtful works are fulfilled, man. So, uh, 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 Ezra is saying death and destruction to majority of you people, man. He's getting a download directly from the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son to write in this book to make it plain upon table so that we, in these last days that read it, can run, man. All right. It says, in them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. See, so confirmation, man. The sword, Esau, Edom, okay, in any instrument of death, okay, in your destruction, the way that you people are going to get taken out, draweth nigh. It, it, that meaning what? It's coming near. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that word there real quick, nigh. Okay, because it's all throughout the scriptures. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we know what it means, but just through the spirit. Okay, because Jake has a, a, a lack of uh, intelligence, man. So the word nigh, it says near, nearby, close together. Okay, it says, uh, uh, Nias. All right. Okay, yeah, near, close together, nearby. Yes, yeah, gradually, or what? Gradually evolve into separate words. Okay, con, con, no, 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 that's it though. Nearby, close together. Yes, yeah, so these prophecies are, are nearby, man. They're coming near, they're drawing nigh, man. Okay, once again, you don't have to go out to meet the Lord. The Lord is coming to you, man. Okay, it says, uh, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and with swords in their hands. Yeah, so going back into, you know, these spirits going to be turned up on a higher level, because uh, uh, 
it's going to be a lack of everything, man. A lack of wisdom, a lack of knowledge, and a lack of understanding, a lack of spirituality, a lack of finances, a lack of food, a lack of water, okay? A lack of love. The scriptures say perilous times shall come, well, we, we, which we're going to get, okay? All right, so there's going to be, a, 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 there's going to be all, a, all hell breaking loose ultimately, man. It's going to be a free for all out here, man. Okay, every man, all right, women and children for themselves, man. Okay, even a beast are all going to get ready to leave their habitations, man. Okay? It says, And one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yeah, so it's going to take a, a, a high a, a, a high level a spirit on these people, man. Yeah, how about some shots going to put on the left hand side? It's going to start turning these spirits up. And they show you that in these certain movies like Kingsman. All right, so forth and so on, where the spirits get turned up, okay, because uh, Esau, Edom, you know, turning up the, uh, uh, the frequencies on these 5G towers, okay, and so forth and so on, where you people are going to start bugging out. You're not going to regard the kings nor princes. You're not going to regard anybody in power, okay? It's going to be, a, I got, I need it. It's, it's mine. I want it, okay? And they show you that on that movie, uh, Bur uh, uh, what is it, uh, dang, uh, Bird, I forgot, Songbird, I think it was, or something like that, okay? So it's a good movie. Okay, where uh, pretty much, you know, the people started bugging out, man. All right, and it was one part where they had to go uh, leave, the, you know, they had to pretty much leave the, the, the house, all right, to go out and get food. Okay, and what those spirits was, those spirits was turned up, man. Okay, so that's the times that we're coming into, man. It's, it's, once you step outside of your door, the times we're coming into, you're going to be, uh, 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 what is that, exposed to to danger, exposed to death, exposure to death. That's what the word perilous uh, means, man. Okay. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall de desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, because there's going to be all, uh, 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 there's going to be cut off to all access of the, uh, uh, trying to get from one uh, place to another, man. Okay. Uh, uh, yet alone, uh, the phone, okay, the internet, all right, uh, uh, pretty much being cut off, man, all right, and you see, you people can't live a day without uh, your technology, okay, or your, um, you know, pretty much the, the, your daily uh, things that you like to use as far as uh, tapping into, uh, you know, technology, man, okay, whether it's the smartphones, whether it's your TVs, your smart TVs, okay, whether it's just the internet, period, man, okay, computers, whatever it is that you people uh, uh, use, guess what, man? You, you We're coming into the time where it's not going to be available, bro. Alright? Okay, because you you got to understand, man, this is this western uh, 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 world over here, man, it's just, you people are, are, are spoiled, man. Reality check is coming to you, man. Alright? And it's going to be after death by pain. Okay, so uh, continue on. It says, for because of their pride in their in their so in the city shall be troubled. Yeah, a lot of you people are going to be in a troubled mind state, man. All right, your, your mind is going to be troubled. That's why Jeremiah in the 30th chapter said, why do I see men, all right, all right, with their uh, hands on their loins as a woman that travail with pain, with child, man? Because you're going to have a, tr your mind is going to be troubled. You're going to be in great fear, okay? Okay, it says, uh, And the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, Jacob's trouble, verse 19. It says, and this is the point, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, being what? Those spirits being turned up, man, to the point where so-called loved ones, so-called heritage, you know, grew up with this nigga from the block, you know, TJ done, you know, TJ done, you know, rob, you know, hit and mix with you, you know, done rob stores with you, done caught a body for you, you know. Done got get, got in the getaway car for you, you know, with you type shit. And guess what? These niggas gonna be the same people putting you down, man. All right, and and, and and furthermore, your own loved ones, man. People who who claim they love you, they say they love you every day. You, you come home to all the time, man. All right, whether it's your women, children, this this is happening already around the four corners of the earth. But how much more when there's a lack of spirituality? There's a lack, all right, of food, man. All right. Things are more tense. The spirits are turned up to a higher level. And that's what the Lord is bringing on the planet Earth, man. Okay, it says, um, 
A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yeah, so robbing you with the gun, putting a, a Smith & Weston to your dome, man. Telling you to give it up, you know? All right? He ain't got no patience. He ain't got no time to lose. Okay, it says, but uh, and spoil their goods. Yeah, taking the food because of the lack of bread, you see? And for great tribulation. So because of great tribulation, man. And that's what's coming on the planet Earth. Great tribulation. Let me get that word tribulation real quick, man. You know, Drake, you know, Jake really think, you know, the Lord help out me out shy is a uh, is a joke, man. Tribulation. It says a state of affliction or oppression. Yeah, Jake is gonna be afflicted, tormented, okay, in the mind, man, before he actually get touched, him, his wife, and his children. It says suffering, distress. See, a lot of distress upon nations. Suffering is coming to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, because you refuse, all right, to come back into the Heavenly Father. You have watched me outside by the way of his, uh, uh, his word being pushed out, man. You you refuse to come into the re uh, uh, the repentance, okay, of you have watched me outside. You refuse, okay, to, uh, 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 to, to actually get your shit together, if you will, man, in lack of better terms, in a time, okay, of mercy, man. Okay? That's why the scriptures say what? Understood not, but despised it, man. All right? It says distress, trouble, affliction. All right? Yeah, to press. A great pressing is coming on you people. Mind, man. Because you people have set, you, you have set a, a, a certain, you know, goal physically to where you want to achieve so that way your children and your children's children after that can be set up. Bro, that shit is dead, man. All right? That shit is dead, bro. Okay, we ain't got, man, let alone five to ten years, man. No, you tweaking out here, bro. It's time to get, get your mind right, man. And, and 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 believe, bro. That's the problem with Jake. Jake don't have no 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 belief. No faith in y'all about some shot. But hey, thanks be to you to, to the uh to y'all some shot for the elect, the remnant. And we understand what times we're living in, man. So with that, you know, Lord's will. Okay, the spirits is going to be turned up to a high level, but Yahweh Hashem is going to be with his elect, 2nd Ezra 16 and 74. Hear all my beloved. Okay, the days of trouble are in, but I will deliver you from the same. Lord's will edify unto the elect. Call the lawyer. But Yahweh Hashem is outside. By Hashem, Rakhavadash, Brakatham. Double honors to my apostles. That was a great millstone and taught me this truth through the spirit. Brakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to this corny. Wa'achim. Shalom to the elect.